Michael Jackson was doing a speech at a um, graduation in London years ago. And uh, in his speech, he began to break down and cry. And he, and he opened up and he said, all I've ever really wanted was the love of the Father. And you, you look at his life looking for affirmation. He said, we were practicing as the Jackson 5 as kids. And I turned and I said, Daddy, my daddy said, you do not call me your daddy. I am your manager. And he said it wounded him, even, even as a young man. Uh, I don't know if the, the, the whole Sandra Bullock thing that's been going on about the affair with her husband, Jesse James, and all that kind of stuff. Been, and then the divorce and all, you know, there's all this scandal about that. People, and then he, Jesse James was interviewed a few uh, days ago. And he's standing there, and this man's man on the chopper program, and he begins to weep and talk about how his father wounded him when he was a little boy. And how it's always been with him and, and been hard for him as a man. In this room, and I'm, I'm, in, I'm just going to take a little risk here, okay? <laughs> If you want to get people to start crying or get them to really hit them at the core, get them to start talking about their dad. And they will, most people have been wounded by their fathers. Some of you, like Chris Fuhrer just a minute ago, and this happened last night when we were talking. When she started talking about her dad, she just started crying. She said, he loved me. And I knew his love all growing up. But just, just I'm just going to throw this out, Okay. How many of you had really strong, good dads that you respected and loved? How many of you had dads that at one point in your life they wounded you pretty deeply? And if you get people to start talking about that, either side, you start touching on a core vibe of who they are and some deep stuff they've had to deal with in their lives. Now imagine this, especially those of you who've been wounded. What if you could go back in time as a little child and your father could walk in having seen a movie like this? and apologize to you and ask you to forgive him and then begin to spend time with you and begin to pray for you and begin to say, you are my beloved child in whom I'm well pleased. And what would that do for you? Well, as we're investing in the next generation, we can't look in the past. We can forgive. But as we look to the future, let's help the next generation hear that.